Okay, so like I said before, if you can see this bowl, it's consistently thick. It's a little bit thicker at the rim, and then it's consistent all the way through. That's what you're looking for. You're looking through a continuous curve. Um, you want your two feet about right there. So, all right, so the first thing, this pot is leather hard. It's not going anywhere, but it's not too dry. So I'm gonna stick it on, and the first thing I do is I try to get it in the center the best I can. That way I don't have to adjust, make any huge adjustments. Make sure the wheel's on. And I'm gonna put my finger out. Wherever the pot touches my finger, I know it's sticking out a little bit. So I make small adjustments. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna take enough clay to make it stick. I'm gonna apply a little bit of pressure on top because I'm gonna be pushing on the side and you don't want your, your pot to move over and throw it off center. So again, I'm gonna push down, I'm gonna squeeze the clay on. I normally go overkill on this because I don't want my pot flying off. I think it's better to be safe than sorry. Okay, now the first thing I do when I trim, I'm going to make, I'm gonna put it at medium high speed and I'm gonna take my foot off the wheel. Medium high, right there. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a line. So there's that line, and that's where I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna to trim to that line. And then on the outside, I'm also, I'm going to trim off the excess and I'm going to make another line right there. Okay. Now I want that continuous curve. Right now it's a dog bowl and Mr. Pop won't pass it. He'd probably just throw it in the ground or throw it in the, throw it in the pug mill and make me start over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to, right now the pot's a little bit wetter. It's because I'm doing a demonstration, I needed a bowl quickly. But I'm gonna hold, you don't go down straight on it, you hold it on an angle. So you're, you're gonna start the highest point of your foot, other than the foot itself, should be the very center. Okay, so that foot looks like it's about half the width of the rim. And right here, I'm gonna start going in. Don't be afraid to apply a little bit of pressure. A lot of kids take a really long time on trimming a foot, and that's okay, but most of the time, your pot's thicker than you think it is. So I'm trying to follow that continuous curve of the bowl. Now I'm gonna put my U shape in there, my glaze catch. Okay, so I'll stop there. Now the pot is really wet, that's why it's really grainy right now. Um, but what you can tell is it does have a continuous curve. You do have the U, and now if I just, I can smooth it out pretty quick like that. But it's got the glaze catch. Um, you don't want it just to be flat. It's kind of nice when you have a little bit of angle right here. It just looks nicer. And then you have the continuous curve that goes over. Um, and so things to look for again is you want, you don't want a flat bottom, you want a continuous curve, you want a glaze catch, 
you want um, a proportional foot. So that's about the half, the, my foot is the half the size of the rim. And then you want a continuous curve or continuous thickness. And so um, that, so that is a full demonstration. And so the keyword, now, just so I know that you watch this video, when you come into my class, I'm gonna be standing at the door. Um, now, the keyword's leather hard. So when you come into class, shake my hand and say the keyword's leather hard. If you do that, I'll give you full points. If not, I'll know that you didn't watch this video. So anyways, we'll see you in class on Tuesday, fifth period.